but through your trials and errors, through your, uh, your, your continuous learning, you're going to get better and better. And you're going to be a bad mofo, man, I'm telling you. But you got to put in the work. You got to put in the time. You have to invest in yourself, man. Because if you don't invest in you, ain't nobody going to invest in you. If you don't think you worth it, ain't nobody else going to think you worth it. And if you don't think you worth putting in the time to learn something new, then you can't get the money. It's simple as that. You can't get the money if you don't put in the time to, to invest in yourself and to learn. It's all about a skill set, man. These people not paying you to come in the house and learn and play on their stuff. They can do that themselves. So you need to make sure that you are controlling the situation and being in control of the situation at all times. You're going to have to do that. You're going to have to take the time and be out here in these streets <coughs> or in your garage or in your front yard or in your backyard or on your patio, taking these appliances apart, playing with them, and, and trying to really get an understanding of what's going on with them. You know, you got to stay in that book. You got to stay on appliantology.com. You know, you got to get on that MSA if you are uh, a Macomb member. You need to do these things to make sure that you are moving forward and, and getting your paper right. The only way you can get your paper right is to make sure you have skills. Because like I said before, I'm going to say it again. These people aren't play, paying you to just come play with their appliances and learn. They're paying you for your skill set. That's why you make more than somebody who picks up trash or who has a hauling business. Man, believe me, I done some hauls. I got a 16-foot trailer. And they don't pay you the same way you get paid out here with this appliance repair. You get paid to do grunt work. And grunt work pay is not very good. I'm telling you now, man, you be shoveling shit all day long, not shit, but dirt or whatnot, landscaping material. You be shoveling that all day long, man, and you make two, three hundred dollars, and that's you owning the company. Man, you can go out here with this appliance repair. If you got the knowledge and you know what you're doing, you can go diagnose. You can get your $85, $89. Some people charge $100. And then you can get your uh, blue book and let them know what the cost going to be. If they don't want to pay for it, you went in there and diagnosed in 20, 30 minutes. You know, if you just start now, it might take you an hour. But <laughs> that hour was in the AC, in the cool, and it wasn't out there in the heat, picking up stuff, hauling stuff at the dump. Man, the dump stinks, baby. I, I go to the dump, you know, I haul off stuff. The dump stink, and uh, the scrap yard, when I scrap these washers and dryers and refrigerators and things, when I take them to run them across the scale, man, that long line, people talking crazy. Man, I'm telling you, you deal with a different demographic of people, baby. I mean, you might want to stay up in them houses with that cool air conditioning. That's why I quit reselling appliances. Man, I, I didn't want to deal with the bottom of the, of the bottom no more. Somebody who could only afford a hundred so dollar had a had a hundred questions, want to know how much the how long the warranty was, and you know, call you on on day 35 and tell you it don't matter that you know it's five days past the warranty period. I need you to come look at this here dryer or this washer. Man, I got tired of all that. I don't want to deal with that. Mm -mm. Got to go pick it up because you delivered it to me. I ain't got time for that, man. Stay up in this, uh, 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 get your knowledge. Stay right on up inside this house. Fix their appliance right in their house. Get paid and go on, go back to the house, man. I'm telling you now, for somebody who done done all that, who done been playing around all that, you know, and, and figured out what I liked and what I didn't like, you know, so. I'm just here to tell you a few of my experiences, and hopefully they can help you out and shorten your learning curve and help you be a better tech. That's all I can do, man. I try to keep giving y'all a little bit of the game that I have, but I'm telling you, you're not that far behind me, man. You know, I didn't make A's and B's, man. I was, you know, I was just getting by in school just because I just, was just like, yo, whatever. So I know you smart. I know you can do this, but you're just going to have to take some time and dedicate yourself, dedicate yourself, dedicate yourself, not your son, not your daughter, not your wife, you can't bring them along on this ride, now they might can be helpers, but you got to dedicate yourself, you, 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 yes, you, dedicate yourself to this craft, man, get it together, baby, all right, until next time, it's LP, and I'll talk at you later, baby.